we are now looking at this question this is um, an aspect in economic order quantity with discounts but there's a catch to this question the catch is we've mostly in my previous video on my channel had uh, solved one looking at economic order quantity with discounts but the current cost was as a percentage now in this case we are looking at the current cost being a fixed amount and this is a very common situation it's very possible it can happen yeah what how do you handle it the concepts still remain the same how do you deal with the question on economic order quantity with discounts well those uh, steps need to be remembered on uh, first you determining the eoq at the list price that's the first step the list price you determine the eoq then you test if feasible the second step being if not feasible from that first step you need to recalculate the eoq but at the next list price after that if you find it's feasible then you can calculate the total costs and uh, of course you check after you're calculating the total cost is this the list price that i have or if not you need to calculate the total cost at the lowest price as well then you get to compare so basically you need to do all that to calculate an equation on economic order quantity with discounts despite there being a fixed carrying cost that doesn't really matter much so now how do we handle this they just want the optimum order quantity and uh, yes we've got different prices that's what i'm saying it's still eoq with discounts so how are we going to approach this so the first thing you need to do is what is the list price here eight dollars so eight dollars is the one you're going to start with there or basically you're going to just yeah we're going to use the same eight dollars according to the rules because they calculate eoq as the least price so let's go ahead and calculate that and uh, see what answer we'll get but basically since the the uh, the current cost is fixed you find that we won't necessarily even be looking at the prices because uh let me let me even explain the reason i'm saying this let me open the the calculation window i hope you'll be able to see this if you remember the formula for eoq eoq is equal to square root of 2 ds over c where the c is the carrying costs now i was saying that in this case you'll find that we won't even really bother about looking at the list price just because of this situation of having a fixed carrying cost but it, they will still come and play a role anyway so you'll find that when we substitute here the two face is just a number the demand being the 5000 stones in a what about the ordering cost how much is it we've been told that s being the ordering cost it's at 48 so you input your 48 over what carrying cost which is just two but remember it's the square root yeah so you find that we have not necessarily looked at the prices because most of the time when you're dealing with the prices uh you'll find that the carrying cost was a percentage change that's why we're very respective on uh which price are you charging this one or oh, is it the least price according to those rules uh, of eoq is discount so in this case just solve a question without looking yet at the prices as at now just solve it so you first find the eoq then what answer is it giving you when you calculate so after computing it's actually giving a figure of um, the eoq figure of about 490 rounded off to the nearest whole number 490 units so or stones in this case are uh, using stones yeah so having got that 490 you would find that when you go to the question let me just show you the question again if you look at the question here the 400 uh, is under the price of nine that's the range that it's falling in the 490 it's in the price of uh, nine dollars so can we conclude that okay this is the order quantity they must order the 490 so what are the rules on eoq is discount so once you calculate the eoq the thing is that you need to test is at that price i've calculated despite it being feasible feasible meaning the, the eoq i've calculated falls within the range of the one of the prices stated and in this case it's falling in the range of uh, the 400 to 599 range and would we'll say okay it can sit there but is that the lowest price being offered so if not if that's not the price the lowest price being offered we need to calculate the eoq at the lowest price sorry the the total cost at the lowest price because total cost determines everything remember economic order quantity one optimum order quantity is a quantity at which cost is minimized so hence cost has to play a role so we're going to calculate the total cost at the least price being eight dollars then we'll compare with the total cost at this nine dollars before we accept it and then we'll be like okay go for this one so this is what you're basically doing 
calculate the total cost at nine dollars that's the one which is on top the calculation on top the symbols are self-explanatory the d stands for annual demand the five thousand that's the one you're seeing the q we've used for the nine dollars total cost calculation is the 490 that one which was found because that's the one which was representing that category for um the was is the nine dollars so hence the q will be using that same one which fill in that category but for the Q, what Q do we use when we're dealing with the total cost for eight dollars since we have not yet used it you look at the ranges stated i think uh, this one had 600 plus meaning that 600 stones and above so when you're getting values from the ranges you need to pick the lower end why the reason is that we are minimizing costs so even though they've, they've given you two different ranges a higher end and the lower end pick the lower end when you are calculating total cost you want to minimize remember that's the, that's the target so that's why you pick the 600 despite it yes uh, this was clear it was the only figure is being the 600 plus as what was just stated so we just pick the 600 because we know that's the lower end of that range and then it gives us a total cost of 41 dollars $41, dollars compared to the other one which is forty five thousand dollars so you find that the one at eight the the one that is priced at the eight dollars is offering a lower total cost therefore you're better off ordering the 600 okay i don't know if this makes sense so you're getting the 600 instead of your initial 490 that you calculated reason being there was a price lower the 490 was falling the 490 as the eog that you calculated it was falling in a price that was not the lowest being offered by this supplier hence we had to do another test of seeing what about the lowest price would we would we incur more or less that's why the total cost calculation has to play a role remember this when you're dealing with eoq with discounts always make sure you have calculated the total cost at the lowest price then make a decision so in this case we're going to say order 600 and the reason i think is now clear